Hello my beautiful friends, I'm so glad to be back here with you. Today we're going to be making these cozy hand warmers. I love them so much and we are going to be making them on our Centro knitting machine. All you will need is some DK yarn, the knitting machine, some waist yarn and a crochet hook. So let's get into it. So first of all we need to turn our machine to the panel setting, like that. Now starting from the white peg, we're going to put our waist yarn on and we're going to cast it on every other stitch around. And I'm going to do that from here until peg 22. We're going to actually put it around peg 23 and that'll be the end because it won't go around 22. Put that yarn through the tension gauge and then I'm going to go back the way we came very slowly just making sure we don't drop any stitches until we get right back to the start okay so now you can't go anymore it won't have gone under this little knob here so if you don't want to put it under that every single time you can just let it do its own thing so we're not going to be going under that stitch okay so now we can go the other way once the yarn is under this little nubbin after number 23 we're going to just pop it under there and then we're going to pull down the yarn just make sure it's nice and tight and then go back on ourselves okay so this hook number 23 is going to be caught every single time and with the other end you don't need to worry because it will naturally just catch at number three it can't go any further and then you will then go back on yourself just making sure that's nice and tight yeah so you're just going to do that a couple of times So now we've cast on a couple of times with this, we are now going to change to our main yarn. And I'm using DK yarn, taking the waist yarn out and giving it a little snip. And then I'm going to cast on with my main yarn and pop it through the first hole, see how we do. I'm actually going to use my wool genie here, which I find really nice to use especially if you've got a big ball of yarn i'm just gonna kind of make sure that is down i'm just gonna be really slow then exactly the same as the waist yarn once you pass this you're fine you don't need to put it underneath this one it doesn't need to stay under there that's fine and then it should go back nicely And I'm going to do about 40 rows of this. I've now done 45 stitches and I'm going to now cast on the waist yarn again. Waist yarn back on. We're just going to do a couple of rows with this. And I'm just going to tie these two together for belt and braces because we don't want that coming undone. Okay, I think one more row. Oh, cute. Right. And now I'm just going to go with taking the yarn off so there's nothing on here, nothing through the tension gauge and now I'm just going to go back on myself like I usually would and it should come off. Okay, right, so when we go back it should come off like magic. Oh my god, magic, beautiful, 
Amazing. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I'm just going to do to this hand warmer what I'm going to show you how to do to both of them. I'm going to repeat that process. So I'm going to have two of these. All right, we are now going to use a four mil crochet hook and we're going to use some of our yarn. And first of all, we're going to sew up the seam using our hook. You can also use a darning needle, but I just like this better because it's just neater and nicer. So we're going to do a bit of stretchy stretchy on here and just make sure it looks nice, lovely. The way we're going to sew it up is like inside out. That's the front side. So we're gonna just put these two together like this. Take our hook, this one, for the first of your main yarn, the first stitch of your main yarn on one side, and then through that first stitch on the other side. And you're gonna pull through a loop, okay? Pull through a loop, and then you're going to pull that through that loop that you've just made. So you've got like a little one, chain one, almost. Now you're gonna line up all the stitches and just do a single crochet along the seam. It might be a bit tricky to see the stitches, but once you see them, you can't unsee them. all the way along. So on the other side, it just kind of looks like a seam. It doesn't look like anything offensive it just looks nice and I'll meet you back here when we've done all the way up to where the thumb hole is going to be because we're going to leave a thumb hole okay so I've single crocheted 25 along the inseam now I would like to leave a hole for my thumb so I'm going to slip stitch along one of these I'm just going to slip stitch 10 okay so we're leaving a hole we're not sewing them together so that's one Three. And then we're just going to line them back up again. And then make sure the ends are kind of lined up as well and we are going to turn it round. Make sure they're lined up, put our hook through the other side to where that loop is, get the loop and pull it through and then pull the yarn through. Okay, so you've now made a little hole for your thumb and you can carry on just single crocheting the rest and I'll meet, I'll meet you back here when we've done that so now we've got to the top we've done another one two three four five six seven stitches so that's 25 plus 10 which is 35 plus 7 is 42 so we've got 42 in total and now we are going to carry on but going around the top so we're not going to um, cast this off or anything because we still need to take our waist yarn off of here so to keep it nice and easy for ourselves we're going to just put our crochet hook under the first kind of brown stitch and pull up and then a single crochet okay we're going to do this all the way around can slip stitch these but it becomes quite tight so if you single crochet it gives it a little bit of wiggle room pull that through and now 
we can take off the waste yarn. Just like this. And that should just kind of come out. great okay now all you need to do just to fasten off just use that one I don't know I just like to do a knot I like to do a knot make sure it doesn't come unraveled so once you've done your knot because this is the inside it doesn't matter too much but you can kind of weave these ends in you probably be a good idea to do it through the seam because then no one will ever know. You'll see them. You can just give them a little chop, and that's it for the inside. So, I actually did want to do ribbing on these at the other end so that we've done like the knuckle end and that's where our thumb is going to go in. These are also inside out at the moment. And now I'm going to do some ribbing on the other end. Now I'm going to be making ribbing on this side. I've never done it before and I got this idea from the crafty girl on her YouTube channel, but she did it on the knitting machine and I've actually forgotten to do it on the knitting machine. So I'm going to be doing it off of the knitting machine. So the ribbing looks a bit like this. So it's where you have kind of knit one, purl one, knitting, and this is all just the same stitch. So we want it to look like this effect. And the way we are going to do this is I'm gonna do like every other row. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just lost all my stitch markers. Oh my gosh. Right, so every other row mark with a stitch marker. About five ones down. So we'll do one here. We've got two stitches here, so we'll go in the third one because that's the stitch you're going to be going up to with your ribbing. Okay, then we're gonna do one, two more, and then marking that stitch. And you're just gonna be doing this all the way around. Every third stitch you're going to mark. And then one, two, and this one. Nearly back where we started. Lovely. <laughs> We're gonna take the waist yarn off. We're just going to undo, kind of carefully pull out these stitches. Take that off. And then we're going to just use our crochet hook to pull this through, but the other way, like that. Yeah. So we're just pulling it through and then we will inverse it on the other side. There we go. Great. Put the marker on and then we'll put it all together at the end. So basically do this every third stitch all the way around and I'll meet you back here when you've done that and then we can fasten off and make the edge. Okay, so now we've done that all the way around, I'm just going to take some yarn and we are gonna finish off the edge of this. I'm just gonna chop out the waist yarn. So we'll start with that. We're just gonna get a little loop through there and pull that next bit through. So we've got our chain 
Okay, so now we're going to go around this next one. Pull up and then pull through. You can take this out now. Okay, and then we're going to go along to the next one, which is actually just being held by a thread, literally. So I'm going to pop my hook into that one. And pull up and pull through, and then on to the next. Slip stitch to there. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, guys, this is taking a while, but we got there. Gagging to see what it looks like. Here we go, drum roll, please. Okay, well there's a thumb hole. Good, 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 good. Really thin, but stretchy. Look, this is the ribby bits. Yeah, they actually look all right. Let's try it on. Okay. Ease of use, not very. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, I'm quite pleased with those. Yeah, I like that. Oh my gosh, what do you think? I'm actually really pleased with the ribbing as well. That's really, really nice. And that's really like kind of simple. I actually did like it as well with the white bits at the top. I might actually do another one with a border. What do you think? Should I do a white border? Let me know in the comments. That's really nice and my hand is warm already. Ta-da, here we go. We have two lovely hand warmers. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos like this all the time. And if you have a knitting machine, let me know down below if you have a Centro or maybe you have an Addy knitting machine let me know. I do have another video where I have a hat which matches these, so I'll link that here. I'll see you there.